cloned Gat? Yeah. All right, so where is... I'm getting to that part. Sit the fuck down, Jimmy. Leave this to the professionals. Can you at least give me an autograph? This is the Trouble with Clones, the third DLC pack for Saints Row the Third by THQ and Volition. And it's basically a three mission pack. See? All the threes with this one. Uh, based on a random nerd called Jimmy Torbertson. You might have seen him before the Nightblade mission in the comic book store. Um, basically, <laughs> being a creepy stalker fuck and stealing a bunch of Johnny Getz stuff, which may or may not have his DNA on it, and cloning him. Over the top, maybe, but this is a game all about over the top wacky crap. And as you can expect, this is some wacky shit right here. Um, first off, let me just say that it is $6.99 in dollars um, on the PlayStation Network, Steam, and on Live, and uh, 560 Microsoft points on the Xbox 360 and it is free with the season pass if you so have the season pass but onto the game this is a kind of mini review of this DLC and I'm happy with the the story bit because it's extra story and it's still over the top and I'm a fan of Johnny Gett and I kind of felt bummed out when he um, ended up dying in the middle of the, uh, or actually in the early stages of Saints Row Third. but any more gat is uh, good for me. The only criticism that I really have is that because I've completed the game and my character is a level 50 with everything unlocked, it's pretty damn simple to complete. The only time that you really have any sort of endangerment to your completion of a mission is like right here, as you can see on the screen here. You have to defend the stage, but that's easy to take care of. And then beforehand, you have a uh, vehicle mission where your, your mission fails if your vehicle gets destroyed. So that's the only kind of minor threat that you have to losing a mission and having to restart sucks it's, I mean I I want to play a game for a little bit of a challenge and because of the near invincibility of my character it's just I can't get that much of a challenge out of it there you go um, also this isn't so much of a complaint but there's a lack of really interesting unlockables with this. With the previous DLC, you've been able to have reskinned versions of the VTOL that came from an alien planet, or supposedly, considering it was a movie. Um, um, extra homies, uh, a giant ball of yarn that you can use as a tank, stuff like that. This one, you only get like a pickup trunk. Uh, pickup truck even with a loudspeaker on it and two homies one being the cloned Johnny Gat and the other one uh, well I'll let you play the actual game instead of getting spoiled here but apart from that there's no extra weapons no extra interesting vehicles uh, and it's kind of disappointing when you when you've had so much built up on the DLC side of things with uh, with previous good outings, I guess you can say. Um, there are special weapons in this game which I think should have been unlockable, but aren't. Like right now, your character is endowed with super strength and super speed. And uh, and the ability to go Goku on on fools and throw fireballs out of your hands like uh, that's horrible. I'm never doing that again. Um, and also there's a uh, I forget the uh, actual technical name for the uh, for the gun, but you could shoot bees at people during uh, the stage defense mission. 
and you can't even unlock that, which kind of sucks considering that as part of uh, the DLC package for Saints Row, you can download a a gun which shoots fish chum at whoever you want to. Maybe that guy in the stupid hat. <laughs> oh, I just got punched in the face. Batman 1960, what is it, 1960s style? Adam West Batman style, man. But yeah, you could shoot fish chum and then out comes a, uh, a shark from wherever and just, just eats him up, which was pretty fun. But you can't have that with the bees, and I'm just thinking, why can't you have it with the bees, man? Why can't you have that kind of Nicolas Cage in the Wicker Man moment where he's like, Ah, not the bees, not the bees. Uh, hey, what do I know? I'm only a gamer, right? Um, yeah, it, like I said, the story for me is good. It's over the top, as you would expect from a Saints Row title. Especially in Saints Row the Third, where everything is just amped up. But yeah, if you want to buy it, I recommend.